10 years ago, many ships weren't networked, they weren't patched up, uh, and nowadays with the uh, reduction in crew sizes, there's an increasing dependency on the electronic devices uh, and communications back to shore, back to other ships. That in turn has increased the cyber security threat. Recent high profile cyber attacks have alerted the shipping industry to the challenge of cyber security, especially as vessels become increasingly reliant on automated systems that continually share information with the shore. Ships' crews are used to protecting a ship from physical threats or intrusion, but they're not necessarily aware of the virtual cyber threat. Most vessels you can go on board with a USB stick and print out any files you wanted, especially for operational needs. And that's how viruses get in, to be honest, through there, through malware. Aimed at all seafarers, this KVH VideoTel training package, in association with BIMCO, explains what the major risks are and where they could come from. The programme outlines the shore office's responsibilities for protecting the ship's systems. And it suggests how the master can assess the ship's vulnerabilities. It shows how to reduce the risks on ships by following correct procedures and applying effective cyber hygiene. And provides guidance on the steps to take when shipboard personnel become aware of a cyber security threat. The first thing you should do is tell someone. You should escalate. Um, the longer you leave a cyber attack, the worse it will get. It may not be realistic to eliminate cyber threats entirely, but cyber security at sea shows how all seafarers can play an important part in maintaining good cyber hygiene and keeping their ship safe. <laughs>